I want him to be blown away, but not by my lashes. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel in case you're new here i'm lydia stanley and if you're not new thank you so so much butterfly for coming back to my video today so in today's video i'm getting ready for a very special date night and i wanted to do my makeup on camera just talk to you guys and get ready i'm not sure if it's going to be like my regular get ready with me videos but i just want to show you how i get glam okay so i'm going to show you my hair my makeup I'm not really doing much for my outfit oh there's a very special bag I'm going to be showing you, my first designer bag. So stay tuned and, and please give this video a thumbs up in case you enjoy watching, you know, give it a thumbs up, subscribe as well. We just got to 13k and I'm really excited. Thank you all so, so, so much. Without further much talking. time to sort out all the fights yeah. to sort out all the lies oh baby yeah oh, no. there was a part of me that knew that and still i'm caught by surprise oh. i thought you'd always be mine oh yeah i guess our dreams fell asleep there's no passion in the comatose yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. baby going down 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 yeah. tried so hard Keep moving like the river goes yeah. Baby, going down, 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 down Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I thought It's time I'm letting you go This time I know it for sure I just thought I should let you know Get yeah. down now, no one's so more, no I got so high on a low That's when I love you the most Now I thought I should let you know Get yeah. down now, no one's so more, no I really thought we had it covered Gonna patch up all the scars yeah. But we smashed up all the parts Oh na 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 Always knew that you were stubborn But didn't know it'd be so hard To figure out who you really are oh, yeah. I guess our dreams fell asleep There's no passion in the comatose Baby going down, 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 down Baby going down, 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 down we Tried so hard to stay afloat Yeah, we keep moving like the river goes Baby going down Pardon me, I'm going to have my um, mirror right here. I tried to make this one a tutorial because I noticed that most of the other ones I do are not really, because I'm talking, I'm not really telling you what I'm doing or why I'm doing it. I've already gone ahead to apply this oil off camera. It's the Andara Luxury Oil. I did my skincare using their products. This is the best my skin has felt since. A very long time so even though there's like breakout hair it's because that time of the month is coming i'm going to go ahead to shape my brows i'm going to go ahead and apply this eye patch from wishful skin i don't know if this is what it looks like this already feels so good underneath my eyes wow this is the j Lux beauty product and i'm going to be using that on my brows on date nights, I like to indulge in a bit more self-care. Like doing the under part of your legs, the callous part. If you're like me, that your, your dead skin there multiplies really quickly. I really do it quite often. But I just advise you to go indulge in a bit more self-care. Like do your brows, use bits on your on your legs, shave, shave your privates, like do a nice skincare before you do your makeup just the whole experience. I have my tea here and it's 
ginger, lemon, green tea, apple cider vinegar, and coffee. Yeah, I figured a way to put my camera so you can see my face clearly. For foundation today, I'll be using this one from Huda Beauty. It's their new Luminous Matte Foundation. And I'll be using my Hega and Esther Primer. I'm going to be using my Huda Beauty name. I'm going to use that as a color corrector. I love using this for a color corrector because number one, it's opaque. Don't sharp it inside your eyes. <laughs> number one, it's opaque. And number two, it dries down matte. I've already put my foundation here and I'm going to just go ahead and mix it in with the primer. This foundation doesn't actually really match me with my undertone. You can still see like this foundation is more warm or olive and you can see my neck is a bit red guys it wants to rain outside and if you're nigerian you know the relationship between rain and nepa so i may not be so chill anymore <laughs> i just hope they can't hear that music there's this restaurant around me now that their music has started doom 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 did not play it since. It's now that I want to record that they are playing it. Just hope the mic is not picking it up. But if it does, I don't know because we can't do voiceover. I love talking to my baby. I'm using these concealers, these two. This one is from Omar Beauty. It's their Stay Woke Concealer in Bronze Venus or number two and Butterscotch. I've not been using my Huda Beauty concealer a lot because I've been liking more um natural finishes to my makeup like dewy and those ones are out for your madness except this foundation this foundation is dewy you can see like a glow like if you can still see reflection in a foundation you know it's dewy anyway i'm going to go ahead and blend this out this um blender is from beauty line by dd and you just want to go ahead and make sure you're keeping the concealer where you placed it you don't have to um, drag it all the way down with date night I kind of want to you know not look too beat you know like sexy grown vibes blended out I'm going in with this just a bit brighter than that one while still maintaining beauty <laughs> if you know where I got that from comment down below right now those old Nollywood in your dough and um, Omotola and Genevieve getting angry <laughs> while maintaining beauty. <laughs> well, I'm going in with this shade of Huda Beauty's lipstick. It's like a purple burgundy shade and because it's going to match my hair, that's why I'm using it. I'm going to be using it as blush today. Always have a paper towel handy. Like, most people don't show you that, but it's a part of your makeup step press your blender so you don't have excess product on your face i'm going in with a very light touch to blend out this concealer so that it just stays like i'm barely touching my face i'm using um huda beauty blondie <laughs> at this point what's new to be honest because once i see something that works for me really comment down below let me even see maybe i might find new certain powder recommendation from you guys because I'm a creature of habit once I see something that works for me I just stay there no need to be adventurous so I'm going into my alabaster from Nuban Beauty and I'm putting it here first just so I don't have a lot of um, product I'll still go in to bake a bit underneath my eyes for I'm just placing that everywhere just to kind of set. It's a translucent powder so you can still see my contour, my blush and all that stuff. But it's setting it. And this is going to be my face powder. I'm not going to do anything. For my bronzer, I'm using this one from CoverGirl. It's in the shade Ebony Bronze. This is like an OG bronzer. Plus my Mocha Mami is finishing. So I'm trying to use up my other stuff as well Hi. the way i'm applying this bronzer is to just kind of take it more up towards the temple of my face i notice that this is really flattering and it fits most face shapes except if you're round 
then you take it up and then bring it down here so that it kind of makes your face look more slimmer or since losing weight my face has equally lost a lot of weight so contouring itself has been a lot easier next i'm going into this and for this i'm switching my brush to the vicabel nk2 and i'm going to use it and this brush this colors here i'm mixing it with a bit of this like just see what i'm doing gently grazing over both of them nose blush is always a must right now with me so Kids to try and use more fluffy bl blushes, evil girl. The key is to try and use more fluffy brushes to do your all these steps so that you know it kind of gives you this. Don't you like it? it kind of gives you this look. I'm going to go into my brows, and my brows are looking extra nice because I've um, carved them. So I like that. I'm going to keep that niceness going. So I'm going to use a pencil instead of a pomade. And the pencil I'm going to be using is from Beauty Line by Didi. I'm just going to fill in my brows, keeping it soft and simple. Moving on, I'm going into my eyeshadow base. I'm going to blend this out using my NK8 brush from Vicabel. Most of the brands I show you guys is mostly me just wanting to let you guys know that okay these products are good. And even the brands I choose to work with is like I've tried out their products first. That's why you don't see me show you a million and one brands or a million and one products. Like, I show you things that when you buy, you will not swear for me in your head. That kind of vibe. So for today's look, I'm going to be using these two palettes. This is the Naughty Nude Palette from Huda Beauty. And this is Vanessa's collaboration with um, Juvia's Place. I'm going into BSG from this shade it's a brown shade and i'm thinking to just do a very nice neutral look that will match my hair with this kind of looks guys i've just always said just focus on your blending this is how you hold your brush when you're trying to not get a lot of pigment like let it just be only this tiny tip that is resting on your hand like don't hold it so close you hold it this close when you want pigment in your eyeshadow when you want to really press on that brush but if you're not looking for that hold your brush here and just fluff out the colors eyeshadows should not scare you it shouldn't be scary at all to do next i'm going into this shade aqua which is why i want to use this palette this eggplant in this palette is really different from all the eggplants i've tried really different it kind of has the color in the wig so that is why i'm using it after i use this i'll use this and put this like this and still blend don't be afraid of blending okay if any color you're using in your crease kind of matches your skin tone right don't be afraid to bring it into your like brows and your nose area this is so it makes you would it makes all the difference with your eye look try this and you see what i'm saying you look very like bad b vibes like i know what i'm doing with my makeup okay you're not seeing any concealer here you're not seeing any patches here it's like a whole flawless routine so i'm going to take a shader brush and go in with that brown now and i'm just going to use that to just stamp in my crease just so I can get more pigmentation of that color. I'm going to take a different brush that is still a blending brush, but more tapered. Let me know if I should do a tutorial on actual like brushes and what they are supposed to look like. But this one is more tapered. It's, this is the brush I used before. You can see the difference. And then this is the one I'm using now. Fluffy to just go on that line of that black that dark brown I applied and just blend it very lightly because I still want to maintain the pigmentation there. I'm not going for, to go for a core crease just so that my eyelid color is bright. I want to make this tutorial easy enough in case you want to follow through. Like I said, this is a special date night look that I'm going for because it's quite special the date night. But if you're going for just like a regular casual date night, you can just do a very simple eye. Let me know if you want me to do those kind of tutorials for you, like very fresh face, girl next door kind of vibes, but special location calls for special makeup. Let's go into this Huda Beauty palette and I'm using this shade called Hypnotic. 
I'm going to just stamp that on the front part. The thing about this entire palette is that in all the shades, there's a burgundy color inside it. So you see how this is a nude color. It looks quite nude, no? This one. But it's showing up this way on my eyelids. I'm going to take it above my actual crease. Like right there. Just so my eyes are bigger, much bigger. They look much bigger. So you can see how this is different compared to this. Eyeshadow placement matters. Using my Inglot liner into my BSG shade and I'm just going to stamp that slightly here. So this is what the eyes is looking like. Let me go ahead and do this other one. I'm going back into that naughty shade and I'm just going to place that just right here. Just kind of you see what that's doing there and I'm going to do that here as well. The covering of my eyes, the covering of the eyeshadow. I feel like these lashes are too long for date night. I want them to be blown away but not by my lashes. Done. Mascara from Huda Beauty as always. I mean what's new? It's good, it's good. Go ahead to blend all of this out. In the Nuban Beauty setting spray. This combo I'm going to do is the one I did um, in Lagos. I'm trying to tell myself more and more not to do nude, so I'm not going to do nude for this date night. I'm going to go bold, okay? But you can pair this with a nude lip. Dark red shade I'm using first is um, Beauty by AD Hot Shot. It's like the darkest um, plum burgundy shade I own. I'm mixing that with a bit of black lipstick from Juvia's Place. If you like to use glosses like that deep, even any type of glosses, it's important to use a liquid lipstick as a base so that it holds on to that gloss and it doesn't move anywhere. If you just apply gloss, most likely it's going to either bleed or just not be pigmented. This is what the lipstick looks like on its own. I'm going to go in with the gloss. The gloss is the shade Nasty Bite from Zikel Cosmetics, looks like so. These glosses, I love them. The red one, oh my god. And it's just 1000 naira, it's so affordable. This is what the hair looks like um, after I've taken out the curls. Let me just go ahead and put it on. So I'm just going to go ahead and brush this through. I really want it to be like a side part instead of a middle part like the last time I did it. This hair is so soft from Ali Grace guys. It is so soft. So you can kind of see why I was going with all the colors I went into. Let me go change. So this is the finished look. I'm just going to go ahead and show you my bag I've been talking about. is my Teddy Blake bag and I really love this bag so much. The leather feels so luxurious. This is the first time I'm actually having a bag that is, you know, designer. Like it's good quality. I'm just going to insert a clip where I'm showing you the bag in its glory.
super like spacious there are a lot of things that are fitting in here right now came in so nicely packed like i felt like i was giving myself a treat while opening this box guys this bag is so nice i love the color i love the size let me know what you think about the bag down below they have so many selections if you know teddy blake you know they make bombast bags so this is what i'm going to be carrying today on my date night thank you so much teddy blake i have links down below for this bag um with a 30 percent discount so check my description box right now in case you want to try to get this my baby has come to pick me and just come say hi You look, you look so serious-minded. Thank you. No, they go. <laughs> so, my loves, that completes the video. I hope you enjoyed getting ready with me from start to finish. Which part was your favorite? Is it the hair, the makeup, or my outfit? I'm just wearing a white dress, a simple white dress, and that's it. Thank you so much for getting ready with me. I'm about to go right now. Please, please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Check out the links to this hair and the bag in the description box as well. I'm going to see all your amazing lovelies in my next video. Bye.